Welcome back to Unwrapped. You know, some cultures consider these a delicacy, but most Americans would rather not see bugs on their dinner plate. However, if you do want a wacky candy adventure, these crunchy critters, well, they're all the rage. And where does it start? On a farm in the deep south. When you're down in the Louisiana bayou and someone offers you a seemingly innocent piece of chocolate, you gotta have your toothbrush because those legs will get caught up in your teeth and stuff while you're trying it out, you know? Yeah, I might want to look twice. The shock factor in this has got to be the, the bug on the inside of the chocolate. Not just any bug. We raise the gray uh, house cricket. Fluker Farms mainly raises crickets for pet stores, zoos, and bait shops. But every year, they sell 240,000 chocolate-covered crickets for humans. After six weeks of growth, they are ready to harvest and be covered in chocolate. They collect the crickets en masse. We're going to measure them out and put them in boxes. We'll put about a thousand to a box and we'll freeze them. And then they'll go on to be cooked. I go ahead and I put them on my sheet pan and we cook the crickets for approximately on 350 with the convection of it right at an hour. Every time I cook them, I eat a few of them, a dozen or so, just to make sure they're right. Next up is sweet stuff. And let's be honest, this milk chocolate had better taste good. We place the chocolate in the mold first, and then before the chocolate gets hard, we put the cricket inside the mold. Uh, and then the, the chocolate hardens. We have candy stores buy them as novelties and we have a lot of teachers. It's a popular classroom thing. People love them because it's an experience. You're not just really eating a piece of candy. You know, you're eating really good chocolate that has a cricket in it. Ew. And not only that, once you finish eating it, you can become a member of Ida Butt Club with a button. And there's only one question left now. Will you join the club?